Best at-home science kits in 2024. I already released a video comparing STEM build boxes, but science kits are also great educational gift options, so I wanted to try out a few and give my thoughts. I thought these Mel science kits were the most well put together with awesome and unique experiments. A slight downside in my opinion is that it's a subscription, but it does make more sense in this context since you need a lab kit to complete the experiment. Anyway, to give you an idea of the types of experiments, at least in the chemistry kits, I wanted to show you a few. First, in their cyanotype box, there was an experiment that lets you draw with light. It comes with great instructions and well-labeled chemicals that you first combine to make a solution that you then add to a piece of watercolor paper. Then you take the included black light and bring it near the paper to draw on it. Another one was from this alchemy kit, where you soak filter paper with a few drops of copper sulfate and then add some zinc pieces. Then you get to watch over the following two hours as the metal grows like a tree. One final example was in the But Will It Burn kit, where they provide samples of steel wool, and while you might not expect steel to burn, you get to watch as it burns in a surprisingly beautiful way, as you learn why this works through the video guides that are included with each kit. Next, this mega science kit from National Geographic has over 75 experiments for about 50 bucks, which is a pretty good value. But you can also get smaller kits with fewer experiments that are as cheap as $15. This mega science kit is a combination of three kits you could get individually, and it is for 8 plus, so the experiments aren't as cool as Mel Science, but are still pretty good for this age range. In the chemistry section, you've got demos like testing pH levels, which shows how cabbage juice changes color to blue when a base is added, and pink when an acid is added. You also have experiments like making a glow-in-the-dark test tube by adding zinc sulfide to water, where zinc sulfide can be charged with a strong light or UV flashlight. In the earth science section, there are classic science experiments that are very hands-on, like building a volcano, growing your own crystals, or excavating a fossil. These take quite a bit of time and can get a bit messy. Lastly, in the magic science section, there are experiments based around surprising demos where you can pretend to be a magician. Sort of. It's a bit of a stretch. But for example, you can make instant snow in your hand by using a wand and dropping some water on it and then waiting for it to expand. Or taking a coin that doesn't normally float and making it float using surface tension. Finally, the most beginner-friendly option of the three, which was these Steve Spangler kits. For example, this water kit came with eight pretty common household experiments that use water and focus mainly on surface tension. If you haven't seen these before, they can be quite surprising, like putting a card over a full test tube of water and flipping it over to see the card stay. Or putting mesh over a jar and seeing that water doesn't spill out through the holes when held directly upside down, but will spill out when tilted. At least in this very basic kit, you probably could do almost all these experiments at home with stuff you already have, so you have to decide if the convenience of a kit is worth it. However, some of their other options seem a bit better. Anyway, here's the summary from the full video, which you can check out for more details, and I hope I gave you a good idea of what you'd be getting with each. As always, if you're interested in any of these, I put links to them on my website, coolsciencefinds.com, where you can also find more cool gift options.